If you're looking for the best hunting boots, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Under Armour Men's US Speed Freak Bozeman Hunting Boots. Comfort being an essential feature all lace-up hunting boots should have. It is a major player on these Under Armour Speed Freak Bozeman lace-up hunting boots. The boots boast an ultra-light, molded EVA midsole that helps in cushioning and shock absorption, which is a feature that I love while hunting as I'm used to running and walking in very uneven terrains. Also, these hunting boots have a lightweight TPU shank that shares optimal mid-foot support which gave me the right amount of rigidity to my feet while hunting. I mean, the level of comfort provided by these Under Armour boots made going hunting a memorable experience for me, which is a lot to say from footwear. Even though one of the main features of these Under Armour Speed Free Bozeman lace-up hunting boots is comfort, they do a really great job in terms of protection than most of their competitors. With a waterproof and breathable lining, your feet are guaranteed to be kept dry in the worst of weather conditions. Also, their aggressive traction outsole is composed of a high abrasion rubber outsole engineered to retain grip while dropping mud and debris, which is something I appreciated during the testing period as this is a feature hard to find in much other lace-up hunting boots. In conclusion, with this awesome combination of features, these Under Armour lace-up hunting boots are a great choice for comfort and protection. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Rocky Retraction. Rocky boots have had a spotty reputation in the past with some of their boots being nearly unwearable with awkward pinching and a very hard insole. Gladly, the retraction are far better than some of those budget boots while still managing to come in well under the price of most quality boots. If you're on a budget and need a good three-season boot, you need to give these a look. Starting with comfort, where Rocky used to be at its weakest, these boots have a mid-calf cut with plenty of padding to keep them from biting into your leg and a memory foam footbed that cradles your foot nicely. The toe box is roomy without letting your foot slide around and the rigid heel support works great to hold the boot in place. The outsole of the boot is quite hard which makes the boots hard wearing but also makes them a little harder to wear over distance. It takes a long time for them to break in and get some flex to them but they will get there. There is not any stitching on the sole which can cause them to delaminate after several seasons but it also means they are easier to repair. With plenty of Finsulate insulation to keep your warm from spring to fall, these do a good job in poor weather. They are waterproof but don't wick moisture as well as some higher quality boots. Still, for the budget-conscious consumer, these are a pretty good boot, great for the price. The number 3 position is held by Kamek Nation Plus. I got my first pair of Kamek boots at a farm store one winter just for shoveling an overabundance of snow. I was very surprised at how well they grip, how comfortable they were, and just how warm they kept my feet. They may not be top of the line but believe me they are worth every dollar you spend on them and you won't have to spend very many. Kamek's are a little awkward the first time you put them on. The higher heel makes them seem a little tippy but after a half hour or so, you will get used to them. They are very supportive and quite comfortable but I do recommend adding a good insole if you plan on much walking. If I had to give them a mark against, it would be in durability. While the overmolded rubber sole will last for decades, the split green leather leaves something to be desired. I have had a pair of these boots for probably 4 years now and they are holding up well but I have never worn them rough. They get light use a few days of the year and they are perfect for that. If you want to stay dry, these are top notch with 100% waterproofing and seal seams but they still manage to breathe well enough that sweat isn't an issue. If you want warm, these are rated well below zero with a ton of Thinsulate insulation. All in all, they pull off more comfort than you would think but looking at them. Next at number 4 we have Arctic Shield. Capitalizing on the design that make muck famous, these budget-friendly boots may not be a muck boot but for seasonal wear, your feet may never know the difference. Made with a dense 7 thick neoprene and semi-rigid over-molded natural rubber, they hold up quite well and definitely provide you plenty of protection from the elements. The thicker rubber and neoprene do a hell of a job keeping you dry and warm, even in the wettest and coldest temperatures, but they do allow your feet to move around in the boots so make sure you wear good socks. The calf fits well and most people will find it tight enough to seal around the leg to keep debris and water out of the boot. They go on well and generally have a very good fit. They seem durable and with the few times you are likely to wear them every year, they will probably last nearly forever. They really do seem quite a quality product for a very good price. 
They just aren't comfortable enough for more than occasional use on shorter trips. Other than some issues with your foot movement, these aren't a bad boot. I would like to see a liner in them for added comfort if you were to wear them for a full day and a sole with a little more contour would be helpful in keeping your foot planted for traction but otherwise, there is little wrong with these boots. The number 5 position is held by Timberland White Ledge. We would be remiss if we didn't cover at least one low-cut boot for those that prefer more shoe style fit. Over the years, these have become very popular for offering the maximum support for your ankle while not being overly heavy. Of course, they don't offer the protection of an 8 boot but sometimes that's not what you need. If you want low-cut boots, it's hard to beat these Timberlands. They have a padded collar and gusseted tongue for extra comfort and to keep any foreign objects out of the boot. The dual-density footbed offers a lot of cushion while being very supportive of your arch so long walks aren't going to cause you any issues. They breathe well and are 100% waterproof. Timberlands are known for durability and these are no exception with full-grain leather construction and complete double stitching. The leather comes all soaked for moisture resistance mostly but that feature will do a lot to prevent damage from extreme temperatures or water from damaging the leather over time. All in all, these are great boot in the right season. Done properly you could probably do three seasons out of this boot but they were made for warmer weather. Colder weather, even from mid-fall up north, these just won't cut it. Stick to warmer weather and they are great but keep them out of the snow and freezing ground. Otherwise, no matter when you wear them, they have good traction and grip well on most any terrain but have enough flex in the sole to be comfortable for everyday wear. One of the better all-round footwear choices available. The number 6 position is dominated by Keen Durham Roman 2. No list of hunting boots is complete without a solid set of Keens. These all-terrain boots are lightweight and comfortable, making your feet an afterthought while putting in those backcountry miles on a hot day. I particularly like these boots because they provide lots of support for how lightweight they are. Their footbed provides ample arch support, and its mid-ankle support allows for the carrying of large loads over an even terrain. This makes them great elk and deer boots for seasons with warmer weather. Their patented Kindry technology helps keep water out, all the while expelling moisture from inside the boot. I highly recommend these boots for those with sweaty or hot feet. Many users report good results from these boots for those with wider feet, which can be tough to find in the hunting boot market. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Irish Setter Wee Shooter. The Wee Shooter Irish Setter boot put this company on the map years ago. Generation after generation of bird hunters have used these boots, and the consensus is still the same. This top-rated hunting boot takes care of your feet, period. If maintained properly, this full green boot will last for years. Plus, it's waterproof and has excellent traction. These attributes make it a great bird hunting boot. Tried and true. You absolutely can't go wrong with this classic pair of Wing Shooter Upland hunting boots. Finally, the number 8 position is dominated by La Sportiva Macalo. La Sportiva is another brand we trust to get the job done reliably when hunting in the mountains. While this isn't a hunting boot per se, we are still recommending it because of its quality and support for your feet and ankles. These boots are perfect for high altitude hunts, think 12 -like FT elevation sheep hunts, as well as any hunt that requires high strength boots that provide ample arch support and shock absorption. But many people report needing to break these boots in for at least 20 miles before they feel comfortable. If you plan on using them for a hunt, make sure you give yourself ample time beforehand to put some miles on these. That's all for today. We upload outdoor product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.